Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is going to be a recap of the earlier stream and I've got three things to cover. First of all, Cardano's Shelly beta testnet or the public testnet will launch tomorrow. Charles Hutchinson, I think, just announced that. And it's good because it launched on time. It was supposed to be second week of June and it's launching towards the beginning of the second week of June. It's a very, very good sign uh, because... I know people have been complaining about Cardano delays and the rollout of the timeline of the friends and family testnet, which is last month, the beta testnet, which is right now, the, the um, balance check, which should be towards the end of this month, and the final Shelly mainnet launch, which should be, the code should be released June 30th. Staking rewards will first be implemented on August 18th. Your coins that you staked on the testnet will be available on August 3rd. It seems like everything is going to, everything is actually going to plan and there will be no more delays. And uh, at least I'll get a lot of the Cardano waters out, of, uh, Cardano haters out of the water if this actually launches, which I actually believe it will. There's a lot of noise being made about this, and people are getting excited. That's pretty cool. Um, there is going to be a Cardano summit in the beginning of July, so prices might actually run up the second half of June or even before that. If you want to get into Cardano, might not might not want to wait too long, even though the price is very high right now. If Bitcoin falls, either uh, obviously Cardano price will fall, but um, I think if Bitcoin rises or stays the same, Cardano might actually have its own pump because of uh, the events like um, that is actually coming. So that is the news for Cardano. VeChain actually has a new kind of collaboration, and it's an extension of the old another collaboration, and the foundation will participate in a Sino-Norwegian Sustainable Innovation webinar on June 8th, 2020. We know that VeChain has been used to actually track Norwegian salmon in many instances, and they might actually be bridging a lot of Norway to China relationships. VeChain Foundation launches VeChain Community Video Contest 2020 for the second anniversary. First prize will be 1 million VETs. Through its account on the Weibo social network, VeChain Foundation announced its participation in the Sino Norwegian, this is from uh, Crypto News Flash, in the Sino Norwegian Sustainable Innovation webinar. The event will take place on June 8th, 2020, and will allow the VeChain Foundation to present the blockchain technology and its use cases to our participants. Uh, this event, it's been being organized by the Norwegian Consulate in Shanghai, um, the Norwegian Agency for Innovation, and Shanghai Academy of Social Sciences. Uh, the partnership was made in conjunction with DNVGL, and the partners agreed to build a platform to bring Norwegian products to the Chinese market. Uh, obviously, that's mainly fish and salmon, and people in China are willing to pay a premium for Norwegian fish and salmon. It's going to use my story to trace everything, and um, they've also partnered, I mean, like, they've partnered with a lot of companies um, recently, but they're going to use my story, and they're going to facilitate the process by increasing safety, efficiency, and helping meet the Chinese government's health requirements. Um, if you haven't seen the fish farms in China, the fish farms in Norway are a big upgrade. I know some of you might see that as scary, but they are an upgrade. So there's also a contest to celebrate VeChain's second anniversary, uh, and that was announced. There's like a video contest 2020 starting June 8th, which is today, um, and users who want to participate will have until June 30th to make a video that talks about VeChain. V uh, the video is maximum 10 minutes and can be submitted into uh, any language, but it must have English subtitles. 16 to 9 ratio aspect. So check that out. Pretty cool. A chance for you to get a lot of VeChain to start your, your own way if you want to enter this contest. Um, but, you know, the whole salmon Norwegian thing, definitely getting underway. Coinbase has ac actually outlined a um, tech plan to help avert future outages. So we know we had an outage because Coinbase's traffic doubled in the couple of minutes that basically where Bitcoin actually reached $10,000 and it had a crash. Of course, it can't really scale. It plans to depend on more on caching for users. They're going to have a health che a check system, and I think it's going to actually build some pre-scaling capability. Now, I think the capacity is probably the most important thing. The one thing like uh, for a company like Coinbase is to just handle the extra capacity, you have to have extra servers. I don't think you could handle the capacity without having extra servers because that really doesn't make much sense to me. Um, if you don't have extra servers, obviously the capacity will be somewhat limited. So hopefully Coinbase gets it uh, get, gets their head on right and actually does this because 
these outages by Coinbase and Binance make people lose faith in the industry and it looks really bad on Coinbase themselves. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.